Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we are starting a new project. That is going to be a user account system. Now, you might be thinking, we just did a project. We created a game. And well, I hate to break it to you, but programming in general is all projects. It's going to be full of different projects. So naturally, I am structuring this series to be project-based. All right, so what makes an account system to begin with? Well, unlike what we made in the first video, first few videos, is we need to ask for login information that's not just the password. We need a username and a password. And we also need to be able to store this information somewhere so that we can use it later or make it like persistent. So when the computer shuts off, turns back on, we still have this login information to use and it's not just stored as a variable in the program. We also need a basic user interface and we need to create some sort of registration and login page. That's really what project boils down to. It's gonna span over multiple videos. We're gonna to put together something super basic in this video. And over the next few, we will polish it up and learn new things to make it run even better. So today, we're going to cover mainly file systems. File systems is a way to, for us to store information onto the computer to then pull later. Hence the uh, user account information, how we're going to store it and log in with it. We're not really going to have much of a GUI right now. Essentially what I'm going to do in this video is have the user enter a username and password to register it. I'm going to save it. And then we're going to run the program again. And at that point, we're just logging in. Let's just start by collecting some information. A user, or actually, we need to clear the screen. That's always good practice. We're going to set cursor position. Let's do 7, no, let's do 12, 7. Right, enter username. We're going to do user input this time, not just input, because, well, we're collecting more things. So there you go, enter username right there. And now we need to ask for a password. Let's do 12, 9, just two lines down. Right, enter password. Pass input equals read. And now do you remember how we mask the characters the user types? Well, it is by quotations and the star inside the read function here. So let's run it so you can see what that looks like. Alex and my password that you will not know and is definitely not tomato. So there we go. We collected some basic information. Very easy. Now, how do we save this to a file? First thing we need to do is have some sort of variable, but it's not just a variable. This one's actually named differently and it's called a handler. So I'm going to just do file equals fs.open, fs being file system. This function, we need to specify the file name. Now we do not have any files, so if it doesn't have one to open, and we're opening to write in, then it's gonna create a file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name the file the, uh, the username. So I'm gonna put user input. Uh, this command takes two arguments, so we need that, and then a comma, and then in quotations, this is the file mode. So we can do W for write, do R for read, and then A for append. Uh, read, or write and append may seem like the same, except write overwrites everything in the file, whereas append will just add things to the end of the file. So we're going to just do write because we're just putting in one line. No biggie. So file is the variable, and we are now working with this file that we had opened with w, the write mode. So whenever we work with it, we're going to do file dot and whatever command. So I'm just going to write pass input into the file. Now, when we are done with the file, whether that is reading or writing, we must close the file. Otherwise, you run the risk of corrupting the data inside of it or it not saving properly. So we do that with file.close or whatever this variable is. 
your variable dot close. I just use file because it's very generic. And that's it. Essentially, that is how we can save our user account information. Let's just run it, create our file. So Alex and my password. Now let's uh, edit Alex. You can see it pops up and you see tomato. That's my password. Now here's some basic terminal commands you need to know that we haven't really gone over. Uh, if you've ever used Linux, it's going to be very similar or any sort of command line environment. It'll be very similar. Quick rundown is if you run ls, it will display everything that is in your current working directory, aka where you're at in the system. If you're on an advanced computer, aka you have this yellow border, you will have your folders or directories as they like to call it in green. So you can enter those. Now I have folders because I use this computer for other things as well for future videos. So I'm not going to go into them right now because I don't want to spoil it. But you can see all of your files and then you edit game.lua for example and you can see all of your code here. If you ever need to make a directory, you can just do mcdir and then the name of the directory. So I'll just do tomato and if we ls again you'll see tomato and green. Now to enter a directory we need to do cd or change directory and then the name of the directory. So tomato. As you can see it says we are in tomato now and there's nothing in here. I'm going to just go ahead and edit a file test or text. Save it and exit. ls. We have text.lua. To go back to your previous directory, or like the, you can think of it as like trees. So we went like one layer in by going into tomato. To go back up one layer, we do cd and then dot dot. And now we're back out to the main, the root directory here. Now that's really like the basic commands. And I thought it would be worth spending a few minutes going over them. Because it's going to be important, especially when we start working with the file systems. We have stored information to be persistent. So if we uh, reboot this computer, still there, we have our login information. So how do we use the contents in the file to verify and log in? Well, now we need to just go ahead and create a login. So edit login, save it so that I can just open this up in VS Code. Here we go. Now let's uh, let's go for it. So we have. No variables we need to declare, which is awesome. I am going to clear the screen though. Set the cursor position to 12, 7. Right, enter username. This is actually going to be the exact same as the other program, so I'm going to like speed through it. I could, of course, just copy and paste, but eh, I don't care. I'll just write it out again. Let's just run it, make sure it's good. Great, so we can enter the information, no problem. We're going to do the same thing here. Except instead of W, we're going to open it in R mode. So file is fs.open. And then we need to open the username file because that's just, I just named it after user input. So we'll open user input, comma, R. We are reading the contents from the file. So then we will do file.readall. All that does is it reads everything in the file, whether it's multiple lines or a single line, it's going to read all of it. And we need to store this into a variable. And I'm just going to say password equals file.readall. And then, of course, you remember what we need to do when we're done with the file? We need to close it. File.close. We need ourselves a little conditional statement. You should be very familiar with this now. If password is equals to pass input, then we will log in, we're good. So clear the screen, put the cursor back in the original position, and uh, yeah, that's it. Otherwise, we are going to let them know that they suck. Uh, 15, 13, right, you suck. And then sleep for 100 years now. We're just gonna sleep for three seconds. And then shell.run login.lua. Gonna type in some gibberish. Uh oh, 
we got ourselves an issue here. So what happened to cause this? Well, it's line 10, so we're gonna do ourselves some troubleshooting. Password equals file.readall. File is a nil value. Oh, well the reason why is because I entered uh, this gibberish and it attempted to load a file with that name because we're in read mode. If it was write mode, it wouldn't matter. Like I said, it would just create it. So we need to make sure that the file actually exists. We need another if then statement. If the file system library does have a way for us to confirm if it exists, and it is literally just if fs.exists and then user input, then we will go ahead and do these things. Otherwise, we're just gonna print out user not found and we'll end that off. Let's try that. So gibberish, password, user not found, you suck. That's a bummer. Let's get the correct username, but the wrong password. Still says you suck. All right, let's do the correct username, correct password. And we're in, we are free. So that right there is a very, very basic bare bones user login system. This is gonna be like the foundation or the starting point of this project from here on in the next videos, we're gonna cover things such as functions and we're gonna make GUIs. We're gonna make this program a lot better by the end of this. Hope you all enjoy and see you again soon. Bye-bye.